Hello YouTubers and welcome to yet another video review with me here the Master of Puppets and get joined by Jakob, the Lord of Malts. And today we're going to be looking at a beer from uh, the brewery. <laughs> a little bit of brewery swag here I picked up in, you know, we're in Jet Brewery. That's a place you need to visit sometime. Yeah. Uh, but we're going to be looking at a beer that just showed up here in Denmark. And yeah. this is the Brewery Mischief. It's mentioned their Belgian style, strong golden ale, uh, kind of a duvel thing. Uh, or Dubel style beer, you know there are so many different people who try to interpret Dubel. And this is the brewery's version. It's on, I believe, eight and a half percent alcohol. Yep, and it says unfiltered and bottle conditioned, which most of the beers are, and uh, not quite evil yet, not to be trusted. This golden ale is effervescent, dry, hoppy, and crisp. You'll want to keep an eye out. And uh, yeah, so that's about it. They also do a different version, which I believe I tried with Ryan and his cousin Joe down in San Diego called Mischief Gone Wild, which is Mischief with Bread and Amices, which is a little more interesting. I mean, Bread is always nice. So, let's get this golden ale cracked open and get it poured. So, we, so we got the Mischief poured, and that definitely looks like a duvel. Yeah. Very effervescent, lots of carbonation, that nice frothy white head. Yep. Um, not Massive as, white yeah, head. Yeah, not as thick and like foamy as the, uh, the duvel one, it's more bubbly, but Nice, hazy, kind of yeah, golden. With a good combination. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's check out the aroma. Mm. Smells like Duvel, but hopped yeah. up. Hopped Definitely up hopped up. With I, some, I, I think it's Chinook or something like that. I'm yeah, not sure. it smells kind of like Chinook. It smells like the first, uh, the same hoppy aroma we got in our first uh, homebrew yeah. over there, the wheat beer. Well, what was it called? Geronimo. Yeah. <laughs> it's that almost peachy kind of fruitiness. Yeah. It's actually got some really nice fruity ester, but I also get some really sweet malt and some sweet sugar kind of notes. Yeah. And almost like freshly baked bread, but it's nice and kind of hoppy too. Yeah. Yeah, some weedy kind of... Uh, yeah. Weedy wit kind of uh, yeah. smell to it. Uh, I, I just saw uh, Jay and Winton try this and they said it smelled like weed or marijuana. I don't smell like this, but that's probably because they had it brewery fresh, I don't know, but... To me, this is more a lot of sweet malt, a lot of fruity ester, like almost almost that banana kind of, but it's more yeah. of those lighter fruits, uh, kind of like in Duvel. No trace of the alcohol, nope. really nice malt sweetness, um, kind of that doughy, bready feel. Yeah, as again, the, that doughy, yeah. zesty kind of uh, banana. Oh yeah, it's definitely got some zesty lemon, mm. zesty or citrusy aromas yeah. in there too. That you get from wit beers. Zesty wood. Yeah, but really nice sugary component, and it's mm. that kind of Sweet. sweeter, sugary f uh, aroma. But yeah, and a little bit of the peach, maybe melon, melon or something like that. This smells like a really nice interpretation <coughs> of Duvel, so yeah. you want to give it a taste? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. That tastes a lot like a Duvel. <laughs> Very much like a Duvel. A lot like a Duvel. But so, some but hops. some hops. Yeah. And some, uh, Do you know what? Hops. It reminds me of the Duvel Triple Hop we reviewed. Oh, yeah. A lot, actually. Oh. This is a lot like Duvel Triple Hop. Because that is Duvel with American hops. Mm. Wow, this is... This is a... Uh, this is actually pretty spot on regarding yeah. Duvel. Yeah, I think so, too. Um, super refreshing, too. Mm. I mean, at 8.5%, this is a dangerous beer. This is like <laughs> sitting outside in the summer, a real thirst quencher. Um, Body on it is medium, very uh, kind of dry, very effervescent, almost yeah. like the champagne kind of effervescence in there. Uh, kind of like a pear flavor, again, yeah. the peachy notes. Then it's got some of that grassy, hoppy, citrusy flavor. And I don't know if there's Chinook in there, but it really tastes a lot like yeah, the Chinook we did with Chinook. Yeah, and we actually had a wheat beer as well. Oh, this isn't. I don't know if there's wheat in there. No, 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 but. <clears throat> What I meant was that it, it's very... If this could be our Geronimo if we did Geronimo much better. Yeah. That would be cool though. Um, it's getting that breadiness, that doughy breadiness mm. in there. Um, kind of that sugary note sticks uh, to it as well. Yeah, and there's a lot of carbonation, so it's kind of like floats down your thumb. thumb. Yeah. Rating wise for me for this one, 90. I mean, the brewery is so spot on with their beers. I love you guys. <laughs> this is this is great. I mean, a hoppier. I mean, if you can't get Duvel Triple Hop, just get a bottle of Mischief from the brewery. Yeah. It's cheaper. It's and yeah, it is. Okay. At least if you're in, in the states. <laughs> I think it's kind of the same price over here, but definitely. And I think this is actually a 
rather fresh bottle yeah. that we've got here. Uh, so yeah, what about you? Well, the rating wise, I was thinking exact same rating, so uh, 90 as well. Uh, this is a phenomenal, uh, not a phenomenal, but it's a really phenomenal really interpretation of uh, Duval. Duval. So yeah, guys, remember to let us know what you think of the brewery's mischief. Uh, definitely uh, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. Check out this brew if you haven't already, and we're going to say cheers. Cheers. And we're going to see you guys in another beer review.